When it comes to supplements, the Oklahoma Gold Program is a popular choice for producers. But how does it work with fallborn replacement heifers? Here's OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist Dave Wallman with some guidance. A few weeks ago, uh, we talked about the economics of the Oklahoma Gold Supplementation Program during late summer on growing cattle. Uh, recently, I had an email from a producer in Osage County that asked the question, well, how might that supplementation program benefit my replacement heifers? This producer felt like his heifers were behind uh, this year, and, and he has a fall calving program, and he intends to breed his heifers in November. It's interesting, our uh, fall-born heifers this year are lighter than they normally are this time of year also. Uh, the other thing that's interesting to me, uh, we bailed our native hay meadows here west of Stillwater uh, the end of June this year, which is earlier than we're normally able to get to them, and they only tested 4.4% crude protein, and that was two, two different native hay meadows. So normally those will be six to seven half, maybe even 8% protein. Perhaps that part of the reason why uh, the cattle are a little bit behind this year. The Oklahoma Gold Program is one pound of a 38% protein supplement that includes the feed additive ionophore, which uh, trade names for the two most common products there are Bovitec and Rumensin. How might that benefit a fall-born heifer during the late summer, early fall period prior to the breeding season. Dr. Beck and I just completed a literature review on the ionophore rumensin, and in that literature review, we found 18 studies uh, on that subject, and essentially what the, the benefit of the, of the rumensin product for those heifers was nine days earlier puberty, and that resulted in 16% more heifers having at least one cycle prior to the beginning of the breeding season. And if you have at least one cycle prior to breeding, uh, the other literature shows that the conception rate or fertility is higher in those heifers that have one or multiple cycles prior to breeding. So that's how uh, the Oklahoma Gold Program might benefit fall-born replacement heifers to be bred here in November.